Alright guys, it's been a minute since I made a video, but the good news is, uh, before this video starts, I just want to give a huge shout out to the company that sent these, J-Carp. The link will be down in the description. They sent me these out to do a review for you guys to do this quick review for this uh, backpack and the bladder for the other backpack and for this backpack, which is going to be awesome. really excited to dig into these and check it out. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to jump right into it and I'm going to start with the backpack because that's the main component of this video. So, uh, let me just go ahead and grab a knife. Um, that was from the previous unboxing. Uh, let's see. You can never have enough knives. You, you gotta... Oh, backup knives, you know, just... A little one. Just keep it in your sock or whatever. Oh! U.S. Navy, huh? Damn it, I don't have my backup, 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 backup knife. Oh, man. All right, we're going to use the big knife. I changed up the camera angle a little bit in this video, by the way. There's a Yee Yee flag, Ranger Smith, and American flag over here, and then Simbu Line flag over there, but I don't know if you can see or if you can see it at all. We're going to go ahead and take this bad boy out the box and get that junk out the way. All right, here we go. So, this is a black backpack as opposed to the other one that I opened that was a tactical backpack which was the the tan in color kind of one that was a little bit greenish so uh, yep this is made by J Carp is the brand like I said link will be in the top description for both this and the bladder again huge shout out to them for uh, for sending me this for the video so let's go ahead and uh, take it out the bag and see what we're working with all right first impression is that it's going to be quality, okay? And I'm not just saying that because they send it for free. I can just feel it on like the like actual texture of the bag compared to like the other one that I have. It's very similar and it's um, it has like a very similar quality and I've had no issues with that as of yet. So I know that this one's going to be good as well. The first thing that I see is it comes with a blacked out, if you can see it. Anyway, it's a blacked out a uh, American flag patch to put on top. I'm probably going to get like a thin blue line one and other things for it, but that's uh that's neither here nor there one thing in comparing this backpack to the other one that i have is that it's pretty much the same exact style of backpack as far as pouches go the only thing different i think is that it's black which is perfect because i love the other backpack that i have so if they're pretty much the same backpack then there's really nothing to go wrong um, as far as quality goes um I'm just unbuckling things so that i actually i should keep these buckled right now because they make a ton of noise on the plastic cable um, so yeah, like I said, first impression, the overall quality of the actual bag material, thumbs up on that is definitely, for the price, this is definitely going to be a good backpack. Um, I'm not going to like lie and say if something's good, if it's not. Um, like I said, this isn't like, um, I'm not like that. That's I think that's messed up if you lie and say something's good, if it's not, just to get like sales or something. It's, that's not how it's going to be. I'm going to be completely honest with this review. Let's just go over like each individual thing like I've done in the previous and see what we got going on. So we got the uh, the buckles here, like the plastic buckles. Again, just normal plastic, just the same. Um, when you squeeze them, they don't really bend under tension, which is good, so they probably won't get crushed too easily. Um, so it's got the two clips here, two clips here, and then these two like straps at the bottom. And then just going around it, it's got the front pouch, which is like a medium-sized pouch with a little... Um, a little interior like pouch like pocket I mean, I'll show you up close right now you'll see in like the b-roll shots up close of it um, it's got the pouch in here with like a couple little pen holders and whatnot you can put whatever in there um, zippers feel strong they don't feel like they're gonna rip off if I yank them pretty good that's kind of a big thing you know especially with something like this you're quickly throwing it back together throwing it on your back and moving whatever you're doing so that's definitely something to like take into account the little uh, the little ties on the actual zippers themselves are pretty good knots i don't see them coming undone too easily either so that's again plus plus on that because i this is kind of like the faults that i've had previously with these kind of backpacks um, so i'm just going to go ahead and pop all these little tabs off undo these um, little side ones we're going to go ahead and just open up the middle pouch which is going to be should be pretty much the exact same yep so it's pretty much the exact same as the other backpack as i said overall this backpack is pretty much just a black version of that one so it's a good quality backpack I've been using it for fishing pretty much every single day throwing it on the ground in the dirt throwing it around getting hooks stuck in it um, you know what I mean it's going in and out of the car throwing it around and it's been more than good I'm ripping open the thing I'm filling it with way too much stuff and cramming it with the zippers and <clears throat> it's held up perfectly so I definitely would recommend this bag or recommend either of these bags 
uh, either in black or tan, because they're the same exact thing, just different colors. Again, in the B-roll shots, you'll see it's very spacious from in this area, in this middle pouch, which is where I keep all my fishing tackle in my other one. So that's, again, like I said, you could fit a bunch of stuff. And that's not even the main pouch. And then you're going to have this big, 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 big main pouch here, which unzips all the way around. And then what you can do is you can flip it right in half, and then you have this nice interior area where you have a little strap to keep like a laptop or whatever down, a little half pouch here on the inside where you can put um, like whatever you want to put in there. It's a nice little like pouch for, you can put like soft plastics in there if you're keeping it as a fishing bag or whatever. Um, you could use these straps even to hold down your like plastic containers where you have all your different lures. And then it's got a little mesh interior thing, which obviously you'll see in the B-roll. Um, so yeah, let's clip these back up so they stop making a bunch of noise on the table. Flip it on over. Um, again, it's got the side straps, which I put like scissors on one side of mine and like pliers for when I'm fishing. Um, and then we can go ahead and open this up. And we got a couple of little straps as I showed in the other one. I'll show a like on back view in a minute. But yeah, it's got the, the waist strap as long as, and the chest strap. So you can keep it if you're hiking or whatever like that. Then right here, we're gonna have some strong Velcro. It's gonna be kind of hard to see from this angle, but right here in the back plate, there's gonna be a uh, really strong Velcro. And when you rip that open, it's it's gonna be where you can keep your bladder pretty much perfectly without any issue. And it even has these little strap things here so you can kind of like hook it in and keep your uh, bladder in there. So as far as the backpack goes, it definitely gets an A++ for me. Like I said, I've been using the exact same backpack in tan, and it's been fantastic. It's been going through a lot of uh, rigorous activities with fishing and stuff like that. So definitely, definitely check that bag out. If you are really in the market for it, definitely check out either the tan one or the black. They have it in both, and it's definitely going to be worth the uh, $39 or whatever it is. All right, and then on to the next one. I'm going to go ahead and arm ourselves again. And look at this bladder here. So with this bladder, um, I don't currently, I've never used one of these before, right? So I have no idea how this is gonna be. Like, I don't know how to judge this, I guess. So this is gonna kind of just be like a first time impressions and review of it. Go ahead and open her up. It just comes in this little pouch type thing going on here. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. If I can, it's glued together pretty well. Oh boy, at least they use strong glue, I guess, right? Keeps it sealed. Try, I don't want to cut this one because I don't want to, you know what, I'm going to cut this one. I don't want to cut this one, but I'm going to cut this one. I'm just going to be careful, I guess, and just try not to cut the bladder itself. Yeah, so it's easy if you just put a little strip across the top and just cut it real quick. I'm trying to rip that, slide it out here. And as you can see, it's just a super, super simple bladder so a bag basically with a little handle here this is where you can kind of strap it on to the bag i'll show you that in a second but um but yeah so it's just a, basically a just a plastic bag that's smooth on one side and a big tube coming off on the other so what it does is when it's on your back if you've never seen one it comes up and around and then you can go and you can have yourself a little drink so let's go ahead and uh, put this in the backpack and see how it fits, how it works, and uh, yeah, go from there. So you just take it, it should just slide right on in here. Obviously I have no water in it right now or liquid, um, maybe I'll put a fucking Rona or something in there. Maybe we'll put a Rona in the, in the pouch, we'll see. Probably not, but, but yep, so it's got the thing, and then you clip it down, push it all the way in, make sure it's all the way in there. All right, and then we have the bladder, which you could just, I'll probably go outside like this, I'd say, and then down, and then maybe through this little strap or something, if I can, just keep it there, or just through here, just like that. And then, I guess I'm just going to try it. I mean, the... I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do this in a real test though. Like that's gonna have to be the thing. So take this plastic off here. It's really on there. It's got a little rubber tip which can come off, I believe, or maybe not. Maybe it just opens and closes. Um, there's a little button. I'm not sure what it does. Oh, to remove the tip. Okay. So if you do want to remove the tip, 
the tip does come off, so I'm assuming you could change it if it breaks. I think they have spare parts and stuff. So you just click it in and then you're good to go. It's locked in. Um, nice outside, has like a little foam padding that's kind of sewn on. A little bit of a loose stitching, but it's stitched on with like a, like a soft, like foamy kind of cover. A um, little rubber gasket here, which is almost like a heat shrink tubing. Uh, and then the plastic obviously here. The mouth nozzle right here is rubber, a little gasket and uh, kind of spins around and whatnot. So that's really awesome for hiking and stuff like that. So um, so yeah, let me switch up the camera and I'm gonna show you guys the, uh, the in-depth of having it on the back and as well as using it with this. All right, so we have the backpack on here. Just it up because I like my bags nice and tight so that they're not falling around. I'm a skinny dude, so gotta have them kind of like tight. So here's the side view on it, obviously. Pretty good. I'll do like a close up angle if I can. Um, chest straps, obviously. Same thing as previous one. They're just gonna be basic little clips here with the little straps for you to adjust it. And you just pull them to tighten them and whatnot. You, you know how backpacks work, right? And then you got the little waist strap again. Put that one on. This one's super duper tight right now. So we're gonna loosen that up a little bit. Even for me, it's a little bit too tight, so I'm going to loosen that one up, that one up. Super easy to loosen and tighten. Put them on, pull them tight. Boom, you got the backpack on, nice and tight on your bag. You can run, you can do whatever you need to do. It's pretty much there. And then we also, we have the, the little bladder, which I need to fix the camera real quick. Uh, I guess I could step back a little bit, but I'm going to have to readjust the way that it goes through the bag, because the way that it comes down. Uh, it's probably a better way to do it. I just don't know what I'm doing, so you could probably do the cat. But <laughs> but yeah, so basically, you're just gonna get the bladder, fill it up with water, probably spin this right, and just open it up. I'm gonna wash this before I put it in my mouth, but then you're just gonna boom, suck on that, and water's gonna come through the tube. You're gonna have water, and you don't have to worry about having to pull your water bottle out of your bag and whatever. Um, so that's really awesome. Look forward to using this and trying this hiking this summer with my girlfriend. Um, you might see some videos from that, we'll see. But uh, I'm definitely gonna put this to the use and, uh, and to testing. Overall, this video, make sure you smash a like down below. And of course, click that link and go check out the backpacks because thank them for sending me this because it's awesome. Great backpack. I love the other one that I have. I love this one already. It's gonna be great for, like I said, the few things that I have in store for it. And uh, yeah, the bladder's definitely gonna be a fun one to use. Maybe throw some Ronas in that bad boy. Go for a hike sipping Ronas and uh, yeah so that'll be about it for this video like I said leave a like down below comment any questions you have about the bag or about the bladder uh, I'm sure uh, I can answer them at least I can try my best at least in my opinion and uh, yeah of course subscribe stay up to date with future videos adios Yay.